Alright everyone, it is that time of year again. We'll be going through my finals predictions and these will be my finals predictions for 2023. Now this year's final series I'm actually quite excited for because of the fact that there are so many different sides that are in it this year compared to last and some sides that haven't made finals in quite some time as well. So yeah, I'll be predicting all the games leading up to the grand final in this video. And of course, I'll still be doing my weekly tips throughout the final series where I'll go into a little bit more detail over my tips and predictions. And I genuinely might change from this video to those videos, particularly for the week one final series. But we'll start it off with the first week of the finals. And on the Thursday night, I'm not a fan of this time slot, to be honest, because I'll have less of a crowd. But we've got Collingwood and Melbourne at the MCG. Now, this is going to be one of the tougher tips to predict, to be honest with you. One of the, probably the, the game most people are looking forward to as well for the round because of the fact that these two sides genuinely going to be a tight one. The Pies finishing on top of the year, but having a bit of a, a fade out to end the season. I know they did beat Essendon in that last round and they've got plays that are coming back. Murphy, McCreary, Moore. But yeah, history suggests that teams that finish a season with like less than two wins or two wins and less really can't win the premiership. So I do find that as a bit of a challenge for the Pies if they can find their form back around. Melbourne are in some really good form heading into the final series. They wanted to finish fourth to play Collingwood. I do feel like this game could be really similar to how last year's qualifying final clash between the Cats and Pies turned out. You know, a really hot, tight, pre high-pressure contest that really goes down to the wire and, and sort of just won in the end by X-Factor and class. And I feel like maybe the Ds have a little bit more of that, but I'm going to go the Ds. A little bit of an upset. I might change the tip though for my week one final tips, but I'm just liking the way the D's are going about it. And I think they can make a really good run this season of the finals. And I'm going to go the D's by six. Next up, we have the Blues take on the Swans in the first elimination final and the first final that the Blues have been a part of since 2013. So they've been starved from final success, just starved from success in general. So it's very good to see the Blues back in it and a deserving side to be in the final. We wouldn't be saying the same thing 10 weeks ago, but the fact that they've been able to go on that really hot streak of wins and, and head into the finals with some really good form, maybe not so much good form with that loss against the Giants, but regardless, I think they really should be going into this game against the Swans with full confidence they can go through. If they want to make more of a push into the finals to see how far they can go, I think they should knock off the Swans. I think they'll match up a little bit better in the midfield and up forward as well. Swans are another side where I think they've been pretty good this season to finish the the year off strongly with some wins. But I think if you look at the season as a whole from the Swans, it's been a bit of a down year in a way compared to the previous two. And I just think, especially their last quarters, they do have last quarter fade-offs as a late. So I think Carlton, they'll have, a, they'll have a stronger last quarter and they'll be in front of 80 plus K fans majority Carlton fans. I think they should be enough to get them over the line. So I am going to tip the Blues. I think they should get the job done and continue their run in the final series this year and win it by 16 points. The next game, we've got Saints taking on the Giants for the second elimination final. And this is going to be a, yeah, really good contest, I feel. It's going to be such an interesting matchup. Who would have believed that these two sides would have made the finals uh, and, and played each other if, if I would have told you this before the season started, given a lot of people would have had them in the bottom six, I reckon. So yeah, just credit to the both sides, to be honest with you, the way they've been going about it. The Giants' form, though, has been really good in the last 13 games. They've won 11 of those games, so they wouldn't want to be a side you want to be facing in the final series. But I think because it's at the MCG, Saints have the bit more of the advantage. I know it's not St Kilda's home ground, but considering this game will be majority St Kilda dominant with a home crowd, I do feel like that'll very much suit the Saints because they're a side that... They just like playing in front of a good crowd, a good of a home crowd, and they do, you know, lift up to the occasion when they've got more of a crowd behind them. But I think the Saints, you got to, I got to back in my own side to be honest with you. And I think, yeah, at the MCG home final, you know, in a low-scoring, defensive, high-pressure game, the Saints will make it through in a really tight one, I reckon. By I'm gonna have three points. The Saints move on. And the last game of the week on the Saturday as well, we've got Brisbane and Port Adelaide. Now all games should be exciting, but if there's the one game that I'd pick that. Might not be as exciting as the others. It might be this one. I just feel like the Lions could have a game where they just, you know, take control of the contest early on and, and get a pretty comfortable win. And it might be in this one. I just feel like at the Gabba, they haven't dropped a game all year, 11 in a row. And whilst, you know, in the final series, they, they do tend to, you know, cough up these games at the Gabba for some weird reason and do tend to choke. I don't think it'll happen this year around. And, and not against the power. I don't think the power aside, the Lions should be too worried about at home, but if the roles were reversed and this is at the Adelaide Oval, I'll tell you what, I would be tipping the power. The power have a little bit of a chance, given it is the final, maybe the Lions do succumb to the pressure, but I don't think that'll be the case. I think the Lions, they're just too classy up forward. I think they're going to have a really, really good game. And I'll be tipping the Lions to advance to a home prelim by 33 points. Alrighty, well that was week one, and we'll now head to the semi-finals. And predicted to come up is Collingwood and Carlton. That is going to be an absolute ball burst. So like, good luck getting a ticket for that. The old age rivalry, which for quite a while hasn't really been as you know big or powerful, but I feel like as of late, you know, the, the rivalry has a lot more meaning towards it. And if they do play in a final, which could certainly happen, I feel like with these predictions, then 
wow, we're going to be, you know, in store for an absolute cracker. And I just feel like Carlton, they have a lot of belief heading into this final series. They can just make a lot of damage, you know, given the form back into the season. The fact that they beat the Pies earlier this year as well will give them more belief as well. I just feel like, you know, the two sides hate each other. So I expect a fierce contest. Both sides will be up for it. Uh, the Pies will be back with their full strength side and Dacos will be back as well. So you know, I don't expect any of these two sides to be um, down at all, but I just have a feeling that the Blues can go and, and cause a bit of an upset because there's always that one side, I feel, more often than not, that does go out in straight sets. And I'm going for the wild call that most likely won't come true, but we are going to go the Pies to, to lose in straight sets and the Blues are going to get the job done by one point in an absolute thriller for a semi-final. The next semi-final, we have Port Adelaide take on St Kilda at the Adelaide Oval. This is certainly going to be a tough game for St Kilda considering the power have been the clear better side all year. And at the Adelaide Oval, they've barely put a foot wrong, only losing that game against the Pies and a couple against the Crows. Besides that, they've been a clearly superior side at the Adelaide Oval. So, yeah, it's going to be hard to see St Kilda having too much of chances. I know I'm a Saints fan and I'd love it to be the case, but i would have to throw everything at Port Adelaide and maybe expect the power to maybe have one of those games where bad kicking costs them or something like that. Saints just need to be efficient, move the ball freely. They've got to be clean with the footy. And I, I expect this game... To not be that big of a smashing at all, to be honest, it could be, but I just feel like, you know, the way St Kilda are defensively, they'll make it difficult for Port Adelaide to score. But ultimately, Port have more scoring prowess, and I just feel like, again, in the midfield, they'll win it in the midfield, the, the power, you know, through Butters and Rosie. So I think the power, this were to happen, which it really could, should win, and I think they'll win it by 21 points. We head to the preliminary finals, the first one between Melbourne and Port Adelaide, and this is an interesting one because... Well, Melbourne and Port, I don't think I've ever played off in a final in their history. And even, like... In the last few years, I don't remember the last time Melbourne actually played the power at the MCG. It would be 2019, so the fact that that is finally happening in a final, you know, makes it quite interesting. And I just think Melbourne have the upper edge here. The fact that it's at home, they've got that week break. I think they'll just be a lot more refreshed in the power who, you know, have to travel from the Adelaide Oval, from, from the Gabba to the Adelaide Oval to the MCG. And I still have a bit of question marks on Port Adelaide's ability to actually to win games at the MCG. They have done a couple of times, actually, to be fair, but against the good sides... I actually have no idea because that game against Collingwood was poor when they lost by 70 points. And yeah, Melbourne will have the home ground advantage, which should, we honestly should ride them home, honestly. I, I can't really see them dropping a game like this. I think they'll have to want to respond after the straight sets lost last week and I think last year. And I think they should, you know, win this game maybe comfortably if they get off to a good start and get a bit of momentum going their way. But we're going to go the Ds to win this game by 28 points and heading to the grand final. And the second prelims, arguably the more appealing contest you could, you could say because... We've got the Lions and the Blues at the Gabba. And whilst the Lions haven't dropped a game yet at the Gabba, and if they do beat the Power, it'll be 12 wins during the season without a loss. I still think that they could drop a game. I, I still think there's a chance they could drop a game if they don't have the right mindset. Carlton would be heading into this game, you know, in some awesome form with two wins in a row and absolutely strong belief that they could they could beat anyone anywhere because they sort of would have had that mentality back into the year. They beat Collingwood and they would have beat Collingwood twice this season if, if my predictions go the, the right way and this does end up happening. So anything could happen. I think Carlton will certainly give a really good fight and be up for the challenge and throw everything at the lines. But it is at the Gabba. I really don't think the Lions are going to throw this one away. This is sort of their year. Otherwise, they might not get another opportunity like this as good as what they have right now. And I just think at the end of the day for Brisbane, they'll be the classiest side. They'll just get the edge. But I think it'll be a high-scoring thriller. I see that sort of being one of those games where, you know, the Blues... Throw everything at them, but the Lions just hold on, and I'm going to go to the Lions to win this game. But the Gabba, by five, to head into the grand final. So for my grand final prediction this year, I have Melbourne take on Brisbane. That would be a really exciting matchup, to be fair, because none of these two sides have played off in a grand final, the MCG, since 2004. So we're finally seeing some new, fresh sides, and I think this could shape up to be a really good contest. The last couple of games between Melbourne and Brisbane at the MCG have been really good games, and the Lions in both of those have been really good. So... I can see this one being a really good, possibly tight contest because we all want that for a grand final. We never really end up having it. There isn't one clear-cut dominant side this year where I, I just don't think there'll be a side this season that's going to go all the way and just dominate like we had Geelong last year or Melbourne the year before. So I actually think that if there were to be a grand final, it should be a lot closer than we've seen in previous years. I don't know. I just I, I see the Lions actually going all the way. I think this is their finals campaign. I think it's their time, Brisbane. I think Melbourne, and certainly with a really good chance of winning this one, it'll be yeah, a really good grand final if this were to happen. But I'm actually going to go to the Lions. I think they're going to get rid of all the mental pressures of them not being able to win at the MCG. It's the grand final. That'll all go to 
for bad and I think they'll, they'll get the job done. In a good contest, we'll go 18 points. And uh, if we're gonna go Norm Smith, I think I have for the last few finals predictions. Let's go with Zach Bailey, a little left field. I think he's had a bit of a downish year, but if he can maybe kick three goals plus, have 20 more touches, yeah, then that'll be good for him. He'll get the Norm Smith medal. And that'll be it for my finals predictions. I've gone Brisbane. Thanks everyone for watching the video and feel free to leave your predictions down below, your 2023 finals predictions. I know Collingwood is my big call for the video. Let's just see how well these predictions end up at the end of the year. We'll see you very soon in my next one. Have a good one.